These are skulls left behind by the Germans in Altai. Do they look strange indeed? And here is an incredible bomber, the Douglas A-20 raised from the seabed. Unbelievable artifacts from the time of World War II are scattered around the world, still being discovered to this day. I'll show you the most mysterious and unusual of them, and in the end, I'll tell you about Hitler, who possibly lived peacefully in Argentina after the war. And let's start with big money. In the distant year of 1939, a German ship, leaving the shores of Brazil and heading to fascist Germany, amidst the turbulent waves of the Atlantic, suffered a shipwreck. What was on it? This ship, the SS Minden, was packed to the brim with gold bars. But alas, its journey was doomed to failure. It collided with British naval forces off the icy shores of Iceland. Legends say that Hitler himself ordered the captain to send the ship to the bottom just so the riches wouldn't fall into enemy hands. For many years, these treasures were considered irretrievably lost, resting at the bottom of the sea in the cold embrace of the water. But in 2017, a team of British adventurers uncovered the secret location of the SS Minden. Their persistence and curiosity were rewarded when they discovered a huge crate filled with gold bars. This treasure, weighing four tons and worth over $100 million, became evidence that even the most unbelievable stories have a place in real life. Oh, how I wish to find something like that in a pond. And what about rare technology of those times? In 2015, not far from the village of Tesischi in the Senensky district, an unusual find was made. Under a layer of swampy solid head fragments of a powerful KV-1 tank named after Soviet politician Clement Voroshilov, this giant was a symbol of Soviet power during World War II. On November 10th, a unique mission to rescue this military relic began. Specialists from the Memory of Afghanistan Foundation, together with the Ministry of Emergency Situations, took up the task. After a whole week of effort, they reached the heart of the find, extracted the turret and parts of the hull from under a 10-foot layer of soil. Why did it take so long? They were trying to preserve the maximum integrity of all the find's details. After all, the tank is truly rare. These fragments were carefully transported to the Minsk region to the Stalin Line Historical and Cultural Complex. There, these parts of the old warrior were to be restored and presented to the public as a living reminder of the past. This operation not only saved a piece of history from oblivion, but also gave people the opportunity to see one of the rarest specimens of weapons that once contributed to the great victory. And how about a bit of mistake? Adenerb, perhaps the darkest organization within the SS structure, studied occultism and paranormal phenomena. Their sphere of interest included ancient mysteries and radioactive minerals of the Caucasus. It seems that the Germans may have been searching not only for ancient knowledge, but also for the gold of the Cuban Rada lost during the Russian Civil War. Operation Edelweiss is a well-known fact of history, but secret missions in Adagea are still shrouded in mystery. The Germans were probably looking for something very significant that could change the course of the war given the scale of their expeditions and experiments. Anna Nerb was interested in the living water from Abkhazia, water whose properties were ideal for creating blood plasma. There were even plans to build underwater tunnels to transport this water to Germany, but the plans were thwarted by the war. Among the artifacts found in the mountains of Adagea, the greatest interest is drawn to two unusual skulls, distinct from human ones. This discovery challenges our understanding of biology and archaeology because by all indications, these skulls do not belong to any known species of living beings on Earth. Their unique structure and form are mind-boggling and raise numerous questions for scientists. Perhaps these skulls testify to the existence of unknown ancient or even extraterrestrial civilizations as speculated by researchers of paranormal phenomena and ufologists. Or, they could be the result of unknown genetic experiments conducted by secretive societies such as Anunurb, in pursuit of creating superhumans or studying mythical creatures? It is also significant that the presence of these skulls together with the mysterious Anunurb suitcase adorned with strange runes may indicate a connection between German occultism research and attempts to learn to use and even control supernatural forces during the war. It's a good thing they didn't succeed in that. And where would we be without the legendary tank? In the Ukrainian village of Dolhelenki, an amazing find was made. The remains of the legendary T-34 tank, one of the three unique specimens produced at the beginning of the Great Patriotic War. Finding this rarity was no easy task. 
A team of military archaeologists literally explored every corner of the area around the village and even clashed with black diggers who engaged in the sale of such relics for scrap metal. But the locals who remember the old times provided the key clue. They recounted that in 1942, during fierce fighting, the crew was forced to blow up the tank, which eventually sank into the depths of the swamp. With the help of high-tech equipment capable of sensing metal at significant depths, archaeologists managed to discover fragments of this combat machine. The first parts of the T-34 were extracted from the muddy pastel of the swamps over two years ago and its powerful armor and impressive turret only by the autumn of 2010. This find ultimately made its way to the museum. And what do you think about Laird from the time of World War II? Yes, I'm not joking. On the shores of St. Cyrus in Scotland, a unique piece of history that has survived for decades is preserved. After stormy waves, huge chunks of pork, lard, presumed to have been packed in wooden barrels were found on the sandy beach, serving as reminders of distant past events. It all started after a bombing raid during the war sent a trading ship loaded with this fat to the bottom of the sea. Since then, whenever a storm brews, the sea returns a piece of sunken history to the shore for its inhabitants. Locals, accustomed to this remarkable phenomenon, say that despite decades in the salty waters and shell-formed crust, the lard has remarkably preserved and is even suitable for use. In times of war, when every piece of food counted, such a dish was simply priceless. It became an important support in difficult times, although now it doesn't look quite appetizing. But sometimes, discoveries can be very dangerous. In 2014, powerful storms shook Britain, which not only caused the Thames River to flood, but also frightened people. On one of the popular beaches, 244 bombs from the World War II were discovered lying on the bottom of the shore. These deadly relics of the past were a dangerous cocktail of German bombs and remnants of ammunition used in British Army training exercises. With the onset of colder weather in mid-December 2014, nature began gradually washing up this dangerous treasure on the shore. Almost every day, the southern unit of the Royal Navy's divers received reports of new findings, causing concern and alarm among local residents and holidaymakers. Military specialists began the careful and meticulous work of diffusing and disposing of these dangerous items, each of which could pose a serious threat to people and the environment. Nevertheless, the question of how many unexploded ordnance may still be lurking beneath the sands and waters remains open. And most importantly, don't immediately grab what you suddenly find on the shore as even corroded shells can explode. In September 2021, on the banks of the Volkhov River in the Novgorod region, an amazing discovery was made. A sunken German military tractor from World War II was retrieved from the depths of the water. The search term Nakodka initially set out to find a Soviet T-34 tank, stumbled upon a completely different trophy, the German army tractor SD KFZ-8. This find was the result of detailed study and dives by divers, who despite their initial disappointment with the absence of the T-34, did not lose their enthusiasm and continued to survey the area. On September 25th, with the help of specialized equipment, the tractor was carefully brought to the surface. To everyone's surprise, 80 years underwater couldn't completely destroy this military machine. The Shah say most of the hull and even the radiator remained intact, which is rare for such artifacts. Moreover, among the metal remains, a German soldier's belt was found, which helped determine the tractor's affiliation with a specific part of the Wehrmacht. According to the preliminary data, this tractor sank during the winter battles of 1941-1942 in the area of the settlement of Selischi when the Red Army launched a successful offensive, pushing the German troops beyond the Volkhov River. Interestingly, along with the tractor, about 40 anti-tank hedgehogs were found on the river bottom, indicating the large scale of military operations in this area. In the Krakow Aviation Museum, a noteworthy event took place recently. An operation was carried out to raise the wreckage of the famous American bomber Douglas A-20, which found its final refuge in the bottom of the Baltic Sea during World War II. This aircraft, being a rare specimen of military aviation of those years, became a priceless addition to the museum's collection, as only 12 such aircraft are preserved on the planet. Indeed, a truly rare find. The operation to extract the aircraft from the depths of the sea was extremely complex and required high professionalism and precise coordination of actions from the organizers and participants. 
It was not just about lifting metal, it was about restoring a part of history. Bringing Bragg from oblivion, a hero of past warriors, a witness to battles and distant travels. Each fragment of this aircraft tells its own unique story, and its restoration and subsequent exhibition in the museum will allow visitors to touch the era of World War II to understand the tragedy and heroism of those times. And where would we be without the most legendary aircraft of World War II? Several years ago, off the coast of Kerch, in the mysterious depths of the Black Sea, researchers discovered a lost Soviet attack aircraft I-12 which became a legend of World War II. This aircraft, shot down by German forces in 1943, lay on the seabed for decades until it was discovered. Only on June 15, 2021, through the efforts of an expedition, the attack aircraft was raised from the sea depths and now rests on pontoons in Kamshe Barunskaya Bay. Despite the loss of its tails and wings, the aircraft has survived almost intact, becoming a true treasure for history. But it's not just Soviet or German tanks resting at the bottom of the sea. Now, I'll tell you about some unusual equipment of the Allies. July 12, 2017 became a historic day when American tanks Sherman were raised from the depths of the Barents Sea, resting on board the sunken cargo ship Thomas Donaldson since 1945. This event became an important page in the history of maritime archaeology and the restoration of historical ships and equipment. In March 1945, in the midst of World War II, the Thomas Donaldson carrying vital military cargo including airplanes, locomotives and tanks was attacked and sunk by the German submarine U-968 near the Kola Bay. Fortunately, the crew members were rescued, but the valuable cargo went to the bottom, becoming a witness to those troubled times. Deep sea divers conducted an incredibly complex and risky operation to extract the Sherman tasks from the icy depths of the Barents Sea. Working in extreme conditions at depths exceeding 160 feet, they meticulously dismantled debris on the deck and in the ship's hold, preparing the equipment for lifting to the surface. The divers' work was so precise and coordinated that the total time spent underwater, including descent and ascent, did not exceed 40 minutes for each participant. Although, such prolonged dives are a real challenge that not every professional can face. Okay, we have started out the findings, but what about Hitler? who was reportedly seen several times in Argentina? And here I have something to tell you. After all, debates about the death of Adolf Hitler have not subsided for many decades. The official version states that in April 1945, when the Red Army surrounded Berlin, Hitler committed suicide in his bunker. However, this version is disputed by many theories, including suggestions that the Führer and his wife Eva Braun may have fled to South America. Talks about Hitler's possible escape gained new momentum after the declassification of CIA documents indicating that Hitler may have been alive and in Colombia 10 years after his official death. According to these documents, a photograph was found in Colombia showing a man resembling Hitler in the company of former SS Private Philip Citrin. Philip Citrin informed a CIA agent that he regularly met with Hitler after the war. He claimed that the fur moved from Colombia to Argentina in January 1955. These claims are indirectly supported by the fact that Citrin did indeed travel to Colombia on business trips. However, most historians are skeptical of these theories, emphasizing the lack of credible evidence confirming Hitler's life after 1945. It is believed that rumors of his escape and subsequent life in South America are more akin to conspiracy theories and myths than to real facts. Debates on this topic continue, but the official historical version remains unchanged. Why? All analysis, jawbone matching in the bunker all confirm Hitler's demise. The echoes of war will reach several more generations and remnants of the dreadful events are stored in the earth or underwater and they will be found for hundreds of years. If you're interested in this topic, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit like. Thanks for watching.